U.S. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump swept to victory in their party's statewide nominating contests on Tuesday, pushing closer to a rematch in the November election that polls show Americans largely don't want. Republican frontrunner Trump brushed aside his last standing rival Nikki Haley as vote tallies showed he was on course to win the support of 14 out of 15 states on Super Tuesday, the biggest day of primaries in the 2024 presidential election cycle. If this was an amazing an amazing night, an amazing day. Former UN ambassador Haley did secure a surprise win in Vermont. But she no longer has a viable path to nomination, with Trump's commanding performance almost certainly handing him the Republican candidacy for the third straight time. The time has now come to suspend my campaign. In a victory speech delivered at his Florida estate, Trump focused on Biden's immigration policies and called him the worst president in history. Our states are dying, and frankly, our country is dying, and we're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. In a statement, Biden again cast Trump as a threat to American democracy, saying, quote, Tonight's results leave the American people with a clear choice. Are we going to keep moving forward, or will we allow Donald Trump to drag us backwards into the chaos, division, and darkness that defined his term in office? The incumbent president sailed through Super Tuesday on the Democratic side, though in Minnesota, activists opposed to his strong support of Israel appeared to have helped drive an even higher number of uncommitted protest votes in the party's primary than they did in Michigan last week. He has to be able to understand that his public, the people who actually elected him, are telling him no more killing. The results are setting up the first repeat U.S. presidential matchup since 1956 but it's one few Americans seem to want. Opinion polls show both Biden and Trump have low approval ratings among voters. A little disappointing that this country is still stuck on the same thing. It's just going to make us look like more of a circus to the rest of the world, which is just disappointing. According to Edison, exit polls in several states, immigration and the economy are top concerns for voters in both parties.